Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Star Sector, also known as Bad Decision Making. We're going into this fight. We have pretty terrible um, combat readiness. It is what it is. Yeah, I know you've got malfunctions already, Mr. Dominator. This is a... Oh, God. This is going to go... This is going to be very, very difficult. Don't accept a lunch request. Well, you know, one day. You can have your... Bring your family over. Yes. We'll take care of you, buddy. We got, the, we got it. Yes. My own fighters are going in. These pylons are not going to make it. We need to make this quick, folks. We need to make this quick. Oh my god, I can't believe I put my shield up at that moment. Pylon's coming in. Come on. I have lost so many ships to this crap. <laughs> it's fine. We can take them. Lost one of my wings there. It's okay. Your girls would eat me out of house and home, then destroy your mind playing card games and ask for dessert. I mean, sounds like the perfect guest to me, honestly. They sound like the perfect guests. Get in there. We need to make this quick, folks. We need to make this quick, and this is not going quick. I'm gonna let my flux kind of just dissipate a little bit. Actually. Take on those fighters, please. Oh, torpedoes coming in. Did not see the torpedoes. Oh, apparently all of my ship has been wrecked pretty pretty harshly here. <laughs> there we go, we're back online. We're into hull now. Which means if we aim our, our shots right, we can hit hull with our uh, Mark 9s. And they do a really good job about it. Alright, we can just kind of back off here, I think. Leave me alone. Let's go ahead and vent. Be aggressive, folks. Be aggressive. There we go. One module down. Kind of like on the other side of my entire fleet here. Somebody is just doing a lot of stuff. There we go. Phase Lance is coming in. Let's go, folks. The Griffin is being super aggro. Ow. That actually hurt a lot. Still got a crap load of hull. He still has a crap load of hull. Nice. Yeah, I'll just take the hull damage. We're gonna vent down here. And let's go. Come on, guys. Wow, that venture is bold. That is a bold venture. One side down. They're polite locusts. <laughs> For the side I did barely the time to get home. Yeah, I, I have a feeling my kids are going to be uh, similar. Because my wife and I both... Uh, okay, okay, okay. There we go. It took a little bit of a long time. But we did it. Another high-value prisoner. Too much fuel. 
We'll take the fuel because we might need it. No. Acquire valuables. Extracted X. Yeah. In addition, well developed industry. Ship weapons, mod specs, and blueprints. Let's go, blueprints, baby. Let's go, blueprints. A lot of fuel. And. Okay. Heavy auto cannon. All right, we take it. And a hellboard cannon. We can make guns. We also got a corrupted nano forge. A bit disappointing. A bit disappointing. That poor space base commander was both three days away from retirement and two payments from finally paying off that space base. That's right. And the sad part is, is he is he didn't actually die. He just now has to work for another year. And when do you think we're going to be returning to this place? That's the question. That's the question. I'd say about a year. So we can make hellboard cannons. That's fine. Wow. Um, I actually want the metal over you. And again, way too much fuel. Okay. Stability has been reduced to zero. Uh, I don't want you to desiv. I want you. <laughs> I want you to keep having this. That's pretty tough. Okay. Well, no sense in attacking this because we're full. I think now we just leave. We just go home. We do know Asher has this uh, this thing. We, we're going to really need to go look. Um, I'm going to just pop in over here uh, and sell some stuff. I mean, you actually have a deficit, though the price on these is not good. I'm just going to sell them all anyways. It's fine. We have very, very little money. Very little money. I mean, honestly, I have too many Marines. We could sell them for a pretty nice profit if we made it to Tipicina. I think they're going to be very expensive, and I'm worried about it. I'm worried about it. You can have another prisoner. And let's go. 16 days until arrival. Okay. Um, can we? 14 days into arrival. Magek is where? Magek is here. You want some marines? I'll sell you some marines. Let's go. Let's make a little bit of money from that. Um, as long eight days into arrival that's not enough time we're going home just fly right through here please they are gonna arrive here way too soon just pop on in consuming massive amounts of supplies we have no monies no monies whatsoever, and we just got to get ready for a fight. Yeah, good. We're here. Manage the colony. Lots of stuff. I was really hoping for some ship blueprints, but, you know. Um, if I am correct, you already have a corrupted Netna Forge. You do. But the orbital works is done, which is pretty pretty freaking awesome what does that do for my fleets here yeah no no d mods just just terrible ships just terrible terrible ships what would he be even build here um uh, i think we're just gonna kind of wait here now four days until they arrive we're going to wait, we're going to look at their fleet, and then we're going to build a fleet that will just wreck them. Um, put this in storage, sure. And uh, the fleet. This is one mission by a Tritech scientist who pops some bars worth check out for pirate treasure hunt. Yeah, that's true. 
Maybe we do it. There are some good fights out there as well. Do more graviton beams. Which I can give to you. There you go, buddy. Congratulations. Um, if I put them here, they're just going to stay there, right? It's fine. We can always go get more from our from our own colony, which is really nice. Also, these. Something is worth noting that we could just take them at that base value of 200. I took most of these ships from the people because they had terrible fleets. Indeed, indeed. And honestly, like it makes me feel a little bit bad. As a pirate, honestly, having these would really make a pirate's life a lot easier. But we're kind of a dick. I mean, the pirate, Stortebaker himself. He's not like the cleverest pirate. He just wants to go ra a rampaging. All right. Time is coming. Time is coming. They are going to arrive any moment now. Apparently they're here. Apparently they're here. Um, we can repair ships to the dockyard. Are they here? Uh, lots of time since my last save, huh? Let's auto save it. Invasion forces have arrived. They are gonna. They are on their way, folks. They are on their way. Where you at? Where are they? You're maintaining contact with this invasion fleet? There we go. Want the income of 310? No, you're my friend. There's the unidentified fleet. And he's going dark. It's not that scary. I mean, it's a lot of conquests. And the Doom, lots and lots and lots, a crazy amount of carriers. Fuel production is done. Whew. That is something. Not here. <sighs> Making fuel now. 6% of the global market share? Yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. Awesome. You supply yourself. Your fuel production is, uh, you're going to start making fuel. I really would love to, up I need to upgrade my spaceports at these places as well for higher accessibility. But no. Okay. Cool. That's, that's cool. I'm happy about that. It's time. Taking you, taking you, taking you. You and you? Seems good. But I don't think we want bombers. I think. I wish I had some more exciting uh, yeah, assault fighters. Just have light mortars? Nah. Something like that. I'll give you large ballistics. Double Gauss cannons. I do quite like that. And then we just basically, I mean, I think you're going to have those dual flat cannons in the front. And the rest of it is pretty much just going to be point defense. A couple of Vulcan cannons on the side for anyone who gets close. Proximity charge launcher. Proximity charge launcher. Hell, right? I might give you one harpoon there.
It's pretty, I mean, I like it. It, it does what it's going to do, right? It does what it's going to do. I mean, honestly, we can just give you, we can just give you the full complement of broadswords. Auto fit that, or um, I'm going to remove what? One of these guys is just going to get taken out. The double assault, broadswords. Broadswords with the Warthogs. Whatever, you get taken out. And I should rename you. Um, Cap. Civil Air Patrol, baby. The Cap Battle Carrier. Slap that bad boy in right there. That's all you're going to do, my friend. You are just going to stand, just hang back. I don't care about the defective manufacturer. I don't care about any of this stuff. You're just going to hang back. You're going to fire your stuff. Dual flat cannons. You're just going to get absolutely annihilated. I only have one meal in there, huh? The cost cannons do have that incredible range, and that's why I did have you like that. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're probably just going to get blown up. That's fine. <laughs> Honestly, you're anti-shield and you're anti-shield. Do I have any Devastator cannons? I do not. Um, for you, do they locusts? Not even. You just have harpoons. Harpoon. Harpoon. I max that out. Why did I do that? I don't want to auto fit. I want to change that. Honestly, one of you guys. One of you guys, you can have double hell bores. How about that? Double hell bore with my one heavy needler and the heavy auto cannon. Love, love, yeah, the swarmers. What I don't want, yeah, you guys are all together. The heavy mortars are together. I really wish that you were not together. It does not make sense. I'm just going to link them. You can go there. And you can go there. And really, these sabos don't make sense to me. Do I have the harpoon? Just harpoons. Actually, <laughs> now that point is moot, isn't it? There we go. Okay. I mean, it looks like we're pretty much ready to go here. You got these arbalests. This might be useful. You just have PD lasers and tacks everywhere. With this ion cannon. Meh. <sighs> Repair our ships. That's going to cost 72 supplies. Crews are all under strength. I have no combat readiness. That's pretty unfortunate. How much do we need? 4,000. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess so. Take all this stuff out. Fortunately, our combat readiness is not up to snuff. Oh, we can just repair it. You have 15 ordinance points left, do you? 
Is the Hellbore and the Heavy Needler? Maybe that's something I want to try. Maybe I want to try that. Hellbore and Heavy Needler instead of um, the Mark 9s with the Heavy Mortars? Maybe that's something I want to try. I've been pretty consistently flying in this other thing, but you do kind of look fun. You are anti-armor, sort of. Take out the Mark 9s. OK. What is different here? You just have Vulcan cannons instead of the machine guns. Really, you've got all those machine guns. I do machine guns. Hmm. And you just have the Vulcans. Oh, because I only have the heavy auto cannons, I'm not that enthused by it. I'm going to go back to the end shield. Well, I need more heavy needlers and then I'm down. More heavy needlers and we can do something. Okay. There's one thing I would not mind. Advanced turret gyros. It might help us against this fighter swarm that we're going to be having here. It's going to, I think it's going to be getting pretty intense. Am I the only one with uh, the light dual machine guns? I only have, yeah, I have a couple, but fine. There it is. There it is, folks. You're just kind of trying to sneak in here. Um, I think that it's better to fight you not with him. What do you think? Can I fight you alone? No. I cannot fight you alone. I want to fight you with the station. You've been interdicted. Come on, fellas. Make your move. Is it alone? <gasps> Just one group and I've got the station? I think you're screwed, buddy. Oh, I think you're screwed. Did I set a timer and or did my timer go off? Well, I think that's uh, all the time we have for this episode on YouTube. Stream, of course, don't go anywhere. But uh, next episode, we will be defending. I should have put some officers in command of these legions. That's uh, that's a bit silly of me, but okay, fine, fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time, my name is Man Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Ta-da! Put in a cut on the stream marker. Add that one stream marker. How is everyone doing tonight, anyways? Is anyone in the YouTube stream, I wonder? No. One? Yeah, okay, we got one. <laughs> Live stream offline. Is that right? That's not right. Yes, okay. Very quiet over on the YouTube side. That's fine. It's just it's just me watching. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Let's just keep going. I kind of expect that. So I'm still unsure if it's really worth um, doing the restream to both YouTube and uh, to Twitch. But I wanted to try it out. Maybe there's some people on YouTube who just don't come to Twitch because they are afraid of Twitch and now they have the option. I don't know. Okay. Let's go. Um, let me add this in.